A student with an English teacher for a father struggles to socialize in her new school until she meets her dad's current student, unaware she is approached for a sinister reason. One evening at a high school, the janitor finishes his cleaning duties when he suddenly hears a shriek. He finds a terrified female student in a room and leaves to call for help. While walking the corridors, another female student with bloody hands urgently instructs him to run. Weeks before, Chris, an English teacher, and his daughter Riley arrive at their new school for the first day of class. The father encourages his daughter to find friends, while she firmly states she already has some. Chris gently reminds her that he needs a fresh start and that having some company could be a good step for her daughter. Riley bids for more time to stay in the car, so the father goes ahead. Meanwhile, in the school gym, where students and teachers have gathered, Kyla, an outcast and a journalist, snaps some shots for the yearbook. Trisha, a popular student, commands her to take some good snaps of her and her friends while mocking her appearance. Afterward, Trisha notices Chris and declares she'll have him soon. Kyla stares at the new teacher and takes several pictures of him. English period begins with Riley, Trisha, and Kyla in the same class, and Chris skillfully stops Trisha from using her phone. To engage his students, he asks them to show their music playlists. Kyla catches his attention as she's the only one who chooses a band from the older generation. She cleverly explains why she loves the band, and Chris has to stop her long explanation. Then, he encourages everyone that he is a teacher they can talk with about many things to broaden their horizons. Trisha meaningfully suggests speaking with him after school, and he agrees before the bell rings and class ends. Chris waves goodbye to Riley, who responds with hostility since she doesn't want their relationship to be publicized, unaware that Kyla notices the strange interaction. As the outcast stares back at the teacher, Trisha approaches him to commence her plan. Therefore, Kyla follows Riley and starts a conversation with her using their common ground, arts. Before the conversation ends, the journalist gathers the information she needs, such as Riley being Chris's daughter, his aim to have a fresh start, and the transferee's wish to keep her relationship a secret from others. Kyla asks Riley to study together in the future, which the transferee gladly accepts. Afterward, the outcast watches Chris from afar and snaps photos of him. Upon returning home, Chris asks about his daughter's day, especially if she found some friends. Riley mentions Kyla, and the father remembers her clever explanation in class. Meanwhile, the outcast returns home and finds her mom, Jess, acting differently from usual. She exercises more and has bought a new dress, so the daughter concludes that she's seeing a man. Jess affirms it, but keeps the details a secret for now, aside from the info that they met at a grocery store. That night, Kyla imagines Chris spending intimate time with her late that night in her room. The following day, Riley invites Kyla to their home, where they get to know each other more. Kyla states that she wants someone mature, to which Riley jokingly responds that there's no one like that in high school. The journalist probes about personal matters, and the transferee shares about her mom, who she's closer to, but ended up cheating on her dad which led them to being here together. To console Riley, Kyla tells her that her dad left when she was six. Before the conversation worsens, the transferee excuses herself for a bathroom break before they begin working. Kyla grabs the chance to enter Chris's bedroom and caress his bedsheet while her new friend is unaware of what she is doing. The following day in English class, Kyla stares at Chris's every move while Trisha does small things to get his attention, which the teacher dismisses professionally. After class, Trisha approaches Riley, disclosing her knowledge that their teacher is the transferee's father. Then, she comments on how weird it is for Kyla to hang out with her since it's the first time the journalist has approached someone. Trisha asks for her phone number, and the transferee Faree gives it to her, unaware that Kyla is angrily watching them. The journalist confronts Riley aggressively afterward, warning her that Trisha is after her dad. She adds that their previous history teacher had an inappropriate relationship with Trisha, leading to him being fired. The outcast points out that she's sharing this with Riley out of genuine concern since she's her friend, which the transferee appreciates. The following day, Kyla calls Riley to fish for more information about Chris. Still, the daughter states that there's nothing to worry about since her father isn't the type of person to look at a student inappropriately, especially since he's seeing someone he met at a grocery store. Kyla panics upon hearing this, remembering her mom's story and the fact that Jess is now dressed up for a date. She hurriedly hangs up and opens the door as the doorbell rings revealing Chris with a bouquet for Jess. After a brief introduction that Kyla is Chris's student, Jess asks her daughter if she finds it awkward, but she dismisses it. 
Chris greets Jess sweetly and offers her the flowers, which the mother gives to her daughter to place in a vase. As the adults converse happily, Kyla seeds in jealousy, so she deliberately pours the water on Chris, staging it as an accident. The man's attire gets wet, and he expresses concern about how late they will be, so the students suggest they can stay here for their date so she won't get in their way. Jess gladly takes this alternative, unaware of her daughter's hidden intent. At dinner, the adults continue having a good time while Kyla does her best to subtly disturb the momentum, such as texting Riley to get attention from her mom. However, Chris can save the conversation every time with his skills. Kyla excuses herself to return to her room to figure out another way to sabotage her mom's date. Finally alone, the adults become more intimate with each other, but Kyla's sudden shrieks disturb them. She heads down in her sleeping attire, claiming that she spotted a man watching her from her window. Chris immediately checks the area but finds no one, while the devious lady pretends to be terrified in front of her mom. The teacher proposes to report it to the police, but Kyla does her best to stop them and suggests staying with them for the rest of the evening. Kyla treats Riley coldly the following day, so the transferee asks what's wrong. The journalist justifies her behavior by blaming her friend for hanging out with Trisha despite her warning and its potential danger to Chris. Riley comments on Kyla's casual usage of her dad's first name, and mentions Trisha informing her that the journalist had an illicit relationship with a history teacher, which is reliable based on the given details. Riley leaves her alone, making her unable to see that the pictures Kyla is working on are her father's. Soon, Kyla threatens Trisha to get away from Riley, but her classmate is unfazed and tells her she should be angry, since the journalist defamed her regarding the history teacher. That evening, Kyla takes sultry pictures of herself. The following day, at school, Riley approaches her friend to apologize, but when Kyla opens up her locker, her printed provocative photos pour out, making a commotion. So she pretends to get hurt and walks away. She goes to Chris's classroom with some pictures from her locker to complain. After seeing the photos, Chris consoles her across the table by patting her shoulder, just as Riley arrives after following her friend, witnessing the scene. At home, Jess tells her daughter that she'll go to school the next day to demand an investigation and reassures her. However, Kyla does her best to convince her mom to make a complaint, especially as Jess mentions what happened last year. To divert the conversation, Kyla tells her mom that she got into the only university she applied to, which makes Jess happy. Then she pushes her mom to promise to stay away from Chris if she sees any warning signs. At school, Riley and Kyla make up, and the journalist confesses that she took provocative pictures for the history teacher, but upon realizing it's wrong, she told the administration about it, suspecting Trisha for the picture fiasco. She adds that Chris is the only decent man Jess goes out with after years, so this is something new to her. Then she points out that Riley is her only best friend. After class, Chris sees Kyla and asks her if she needs a lift, which the student agrees. As the teacher pulls up at Jess's residence, the journalist takes pictures of him, saying it's for the yearbook. The man asks her to extend his regards to Jess, and he drives away. That evening, Chris visits Jess at her house for another date. As the woman prepares, Kyla notices the teacher's phone, so she urges her mom to read the messages, which Jess initially declines. Still, when her daughter insists, she ends up reading it, finding inappropriate messages from Trisha. The clueless man arrives from the bathroom, and the adults argue about it while Kyla happily listens from the other room. Jess concludes that he's disgusting, so she sends him out of the house. Kyla follows him in the car, but she seduces him instead and initiates physical intimacy. The teacher turns speechless and doesn't reciprocate until the student leaves him alone. Upon returning to her room, Kyla takes another phone she used to send messages to Chris, pretending she's Trisha. She gladly breaks it to get rid of the evidence. The following day in class, Trisha seduces Chris again. Still, Kyla interrupts by returning his clothes, emphasizing that he left this at home in front of the class while Riley watches everything. Soon, school officials arrive to summon the clueless Trisha, which leaves Kyla smirking in satisfaction. After class, Riley and her dad exchange confused glances, to which Chris responds that he has no idea. Kyla leaves the classroom last and approaches the teacher, telling him he and her mom aren't meant to be because there's someone better. She kisses the teacher and leaves as Chris wipes his lips disgustedly. Soon, Riley tells Kyla that Trisha was summoned due to her inappropriate behavior, which her friend dismisses. Then, Quentin, Trisha's friend, greets her and says he'll come to her debut party, which upsets Kyla. 
As she begins scolding Riley, the transferee points out she's not her only friend before leaving. When Kyla goes home, Jess tells her that the faculty recovered a broken phone in Trisha's locker that probably contains the messages she sent to Chris, and many inappropriate pictures of Kyla. Later in Riley's party, Kyla attends and hands her a bottle of liquor to commemorate her adulthood. Once the host is busy, she sneaks into Chris's room and starts caressing her teacher, while the man weakly turns her away. Ultimately, he gives in, and as their intimacy increases, Riley barges into the room, catching her father and her friend. Chris follows his daughter outside, and the two confront each other amidst the party, where everyone witnesses their vague interaction about a friend, which upsets Riley. The father finds out that his daughter has been drinking, but Riley shoves his inappropriate acts to his face before walking away. Chris enters the house to get his keys, but Kyla tells him that her friend has been having drinking problems since they met and that Riley won't listen to her to stop it. Then she suggests continuing where they left off since everyone is gone, but the father is insistent on finding his daughter. Kyla angrily asks if Riley is more important, but Chris answers matter-of-factly that his daughter is definitely more important. Instead of going home, Kyla lies on Chris's bed and smashes Riley's portrait, declaring that the daughter won't take the man away from her. The following day, Riley sends a message to Jess that they need to talk while the rift between the father and daughter increases. In class, Chris teaches as normally as he can, but Kyla is the only one who volunteers to answer his questions. Having no choice but to call her, the student explains her interpretation, giving subtle hints of what's happening between them. Chris won't have any of it, and he points out how shallow her interpretation is. Riley receives a text message, and she leaves the room without permission. The class ends and everyone leaves, but Kyla remains to argue with Chris about his coldness. Jess barges into the room and slaps the man twice as she commands her daughter to go. Riley watches the scene unfold and stares at her father with utmost disappointment. Jess confronts her daughter, stating this is inappropriate, but Kyla argues that she's jealous. Jess finally realizes that the pictures and Trisha are all her daughter's schemes, but Kyla is determined to continue as she declares they're in love and her mother should stay out of it. Kyla calls Chris not non-stop, but he's not picking up. Riley approaches her father to have a serious conversation about the events, and he confesses that he's broken after what his wife has done. He let things happen, which almost caused him to lose his only daughter. He genuinely apologizes and promises to do everything to keep his daughter with him. Afterward, Kyla calls someone to set up a meeting. Soon, Trisha arrives at the meeting place, and the journalist provokes her to attack her. However, her classmate doesn't do as expected, so Kyla attacks herself. Once she notices that Chris's car arrives, she breaks her finger and claims she's attacked, leaving Trisha in shock. Chris attends to her, and Riley calls 911 to report an assault. Soon, Trisha is arrested, and the devious woman is full of glee to have the man come to her rescue. In the hospital, Kyla uses this event to prove to her mom that Trisha is targeting her. Jess accepts this, but insists on making her promise that she won't see Chris anymore. The father and daughter arrive, and Kyla begs her mom to bid goodbye to him. Instead of Chris, Riley confronts her about everything that happened. Riley stands firm that she's here to clarify that the events made her father realize he needs help in coping, and she's the one who'll help her dad. The brazen Kyla asks her a favor to cover the volleyball game for the yearbook, and pushes to bid goodbye to Chris. Kyla greets him sweetly and declares that she convinced Jess and Riley that nothing is going on between them, so they have to be careful from now on. The dumbfounded Chris firmly states that there's nothing between them, and he's leaving since this is the only way to get her out of their lives. Kyla insists he loves her, but Chris tells her she's delusional before leaving her for good. Then, the demented woman stares at the scalpel the nurse left on her bedside. The teacher drives to school and sends a voice message to his daughter to meet in his classroom to talk about something important. Riley receives the message moments later, while Jess discovers her daughter is missing. The lights in the school hall are off, and Kyla approaches Riley, stating that there's only one woman in Chris's life before stabbing her with a scalpel. The demented lady goes to Chris's classroom and aims the scalpel at his neck, while blabbering about how obsessed she is with him. Chris insists that he has no feelings for her and that everything is a mistake, which angers Kyla more. Meanwhile, Riley desperately crawls to her father's classroom. Kyla tells Chris that they'll start a new family and she'll give him a new child since Riley has no room for their plans. Chris shoves her with all his might and asks where his daughter is, but Kyla kicks him, and he falls, hitting his head on the table. The janitor and Riley hear the sound, 
so she musters her strength to stand as the janitor calls out, getting Kyla's attention. The crazy student shrieks and pretends to be terrified as the janitor checks on her. The man leaves her and Riley sees him, warning him to run as Kyla is behind him. In a blink of an eye, the unhinged student slashes his neck, and Riley runs away. The journalist catches her and is about to stab her, but Riley does her best to protect herself and gets away. Kyla follows her as she enters the dark room, trying to find something she can use to protect herself. As they continue to brawl, Riley punches Kyla and pounces on her as the journalist proclaims she's not sorry. Riley gathers all her strength to hit Kyla with both hands and the crazy student faints. Soon the authorities arrive, and Chris attends to his daughter until she gets loaded in the ambulance. Riley becomes upset upon seeing that Kyla is also being carried to another ambulance. After some time in a new town and a new home, Riley wishes her father good luck on his first day in school, and her dad does the same for her first day in college. Chris escorts his daughter to her car as she drives off to school, both unaware that a hooded woman is watching them from afar. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.